In any economic system, consumers play a vital role in shaping markets and driving economic growth. While consumers are often aware of their rights, understanding their duties is equally important. But what exactly is consumer duty? And how does it affect us as a society? In today's video, we will be taking a look at what is consumer duty, the significance of consumer duty, and who implements the consumer duty legislation. Hello, and welcome to another KYC Lookup video where we bring you AML related content to help you enhance your knowledge in the fight against money laundering. Before diving into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Oh, and don't forget to leave us a comment with any suggested topics you would like us to cover in the future. So, on to today's video. What is consumer duty? Consumer duty encompasses a range of obligations that businesses must adhere to in order to safeguard the interests of consumers. These obligations may include, but are not limited to, ensuring product safety, providing accurate and transparent information, offering fair pricing, and addressing customer complaints and grievances effectively. The primary objective of customer duty is to create an environment where consumers can make informed choices, receive quality products and services, and be protected by deceptive practices or unfair treatment. The significance of consumer duty. Consumer duty legislation plays a crucial role in establishing a fair marketplace that promotes healthy competition and protects vulnerable consumers. By placing legal obligations on businesses, consumer duty aims to prevent fraudulent activities, misleading advertisements, and the sale of unsafe or defective products. It also seeks to ensure that consumers are not subjected to unfair contract terms, discriminatory practices, or unscrupulous business tactics. Key components of consumer duty. Product safety. Businesses have a responsibility to provide products that are safe for consumers to use. This includes complying with relevant safety standards, conducting rigorous testing, and promptly addressing any safety concerns or product recalls. Information and transparency. Consumer duty emphasizes the importance of providing accurate and comprehensive information about products or services. This includes clear labelling, disclosure of relevant terms and conditions, pricing details, and any associated risk or limitations. Fair pricing. Businesses are expected to maintain fair and transparent pricing practices, ensuring that consumers are not subjected to price discrimination, hidden charges, or unjustified price increases. Complaint handling. Consumer duty legislation often requires businesses to establish effective complaint handling mechanisms. This ensures that customer grievances are addressed promptly and appropriate remedies or compensation are provided when necessary. Who implements the consumer duty legislation? To ensure compliance, consumer duty legislation is typically enforced by regulatory bodies or consumer protected agencies. In the UK, the Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, implements the legislation in regard to consumer duty. Their role is to make sure industries comply with the relevant legislation and monitor how they look after their clients and customers. As of July 31st, 2023, the FCA will be making the following changes to the legislation. A new consumer principle that requires firms to act to deliver good outcomes for retail customers. Cross-cutting rules providing greater clarity on their expectations under the new principle and helping firms interpret the four outcomes. Rules relating to the four outcomes that FCA want to see under the consumer duty. These represent key elements of the firm consumer relationship, which are instrumental in helping to drive good outcomes for customers. These outcomes relate to 
Products and services. Price and value. Consumer understanding. And consumer support. The following industries will need to pay close attention to these changes. Regulated firms, including those in the e-money and payment sector. Consumer organisations and individual consumers. Industry groups or trade bodies. Policy makers and regulatory bodies. Industry experts and commentators. And academics and think tanks. What happens if industries are non-compliant? Non-compliance of consumer duty obligations can have severe consequences for industries. Legal repercussions, reputational damage, consumer dissatisfaction, regulatory interventions and loss of competitive advantage are among the potential outcomes of failing to uphold consumer rights and responsibilities. It is in the best interest of industries to prioritise consumer duty, not only to comply with legal requirements, but also to foster consumer trust, maintain a positive reputation, and drive long-term success in today's consumer-centric marketplace. Regulatory bodies and consumer protection agencies are responsible for enforcing consumer protection laws and may impose the following actions. Fines and financial penalties. Industries found to be in breach of consumer duty may be subject to financial penalties. The amount of the fine typically depends on the severity of the violation and the applicable laws or regulations. Fines can range from moderate amounts to substantial sums, which can significantly impact the financial stability of the non-compliant industry. Lawsuits and legal action. Failure to comply with consumer duty can lead to lawsuits and legal actions brought by consumers, consumer organisations and government entities. Such legal actions can result in costly litigation, potential settlements and damage to the industry's reputation. Business closure and licence revocation. In severe cases of non-compliance, Regulatory authorities may have the power to shut down non-compliant businesses or revoke their licences. This action is typically taken when the industry poses a significant risk to consumer safety or engages in fraudulent or unethical practices. Reputational damage. Non-compliance with consumer duty obligations can have a detrimental impact on an industry's reputation. Negative publicity and consumer backlash can arise from incidents of product defects, safety standards, deceptive practices or unfair treatment of consumers. Reputational damage can lead to decreased consumer trust, reduced sales and potential long-term harm to the industry's brand and market standing. Loss of consumer confidence Industries that consistently fail to meet consumer duty obligations risk losing consumer confidence. When consumers perceive an industry as unreliable, untrustworthy or indifferent to their rights and well-being, they will be more likely to switch to competitors to seek alternative options. The loss of consumer confidence can significantly impact an industry's market share, profitability and long-term viability. Regulatory scrutiny and increased oversight. Non-compliance with consumer duty can attract heightened regulatory scrutiny and increased oversight. Regulatory bodies may intensify inspections, audits and monitor of industries that have a history of non-compliance. This increased regulatory scrutiny can lead to additional compliance requirements, more frequent reporting obligations, and increased administrative burdens for non-compliant industries. As you can see, consumer duty legislation forms the backbone of consumer protection, providing a framework for businesses to uphold ethical standards and protect the rights of consumers. By establishing clear obligations and holding businesses accountable, Consumer duty helps foster trust, transparency and fairness in the marketplace. 
It is an essential aspect of modern legal systems that strive to create a balance between commercial interests and consumer well-being, ultimately benefiting society as a whole. Well, there you have it. What is consumer duty? The significance of consumer duty? and who implements the consumer duty legislation. Please let us know in the comments section if you think consumer duty is benefiting us as a society and any other topics you would like us to cover in the future. We have now launched our very own courses for you to take a more in-depth look at a variety of subjects, such as introduction to AML, beneficial ownership and customer risk rating, for example so make sure you visit our website for further details and let us help you connect the dots in KYC. Thank you for watching the video and if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more amazing videos.